Hey all farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful day here on the farm. It's actually a really cold day, really wet day here on the farm. But I want to thank everybody for stopping by. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Or and now it's the end of the month because it's already December. So if you guys would do that, I would appreciate it. Alrighty, so I had a few emails, a few questions, and uh the viewers, you guys are asking, you know, just a few concerns. You know, and uh the questions are what's the difference between June bearing versus day neutral strawberries in a high tunnel and I'm to today's video I'm gonna go ahead and get into that alrighty so the difference between a June bearing strawberry and a day neutral strawberry a June bearing strawberry is when they produce their crop in the spring in June you know in northern climates that's you know they, they produce their berries in June so that's why they're called June bearing out here in Missouri, it's more like May bearing because they produce all their strawberries in May. But the idea behind the June bearing strawberries is you plant them in the fall, the overwinter, and in the spring they go ahead and produce your crop. And you know it, it gets more complicated that because all the all the crowns and stuff you have to develop. But that's that's the uh, summary of it. But on the day neutral varieties or the ever bearing, there's a few difference between ever bearing and uh, day neutral, but they're they're pretty much the same. They're like siblings. I mean that's how close they are together. So. Day neutral varieties are more of a commercial variety. All the strawberries in the grocery store right now, they're most likely day neutral varieties coming out of California or Florida. So these day neutral varieties, you plant them in the spring and once that first crown is developed, they go ahead and send out a flower bud and the whole entire crown gets developed. So day neutral varieties, the instant that crown is developed inside the plant, they go ahead and send out the flowers. And there is no limit to how many crowns and berries you can produce. If the temperature stays below like 75 degrees or, you know, even 90 because an open bloom won't pollinate at 90 degrees, just, it's just too hot. But out in the uh, shorelines of California and out in the, um, yeah, in the shorelines where it stays cool year round, they go ahead and plant these varieties and then they have berries n nine months out of the year. So they, you know, they plant them in November. They start harvesting around, you know, January and all the way through Thanksgiving. So with these varieties, with the day neutral varieties, as long as the temperature stays cool, the soil temperature and the air temperature stays cool, they're going to go ahead and produce you flowers and berries. I mean, up until the frost comes, until once temperature gets cold again and they're done for. So, you know, I say they're more of a commercial variety, but in all reality, like I got some Monterey's here, which are, is not really commercial variety. The berries are a little softer, but... That's the main difference between a day neutral variety and the ever bear, uh, June bearing strawberry. Not an ever bearing, ever bearing, and yeah, anyways. <laughs> but day neutral versus June bearing, that's the main difference. One produces its berries in five to four to five weeks, the other produces its berries in you know a nine in a nine month period. You guys know I'm all about the yield and how much production we can see off the plants and whatnot. So off a June bearing strawberry in a high tunnel, we should be able to see, you know, a pound to maybe a pound and a half, pound three quarter off the um, the plant alone because in a high tunnel here, you know, they have much longer time for the the, 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 the that crop to develop. But on a day neutral variety out in California in a full season, they're pulling close to two to three. So in some instances, four pounds per plant. Of, of strawberries off their plant just because they have such a long growing season you know they have a nine month harvest season so if you're not able to pull three to four or five pounds of strawberries off the plant in, in that time period you know you're doing something wrong so that's the main difference between yield is you know on a June bearing you're, you're gonna see a little less uh, production just because that time period is crunched down and of course you get more blooms and more uh, buds uh, coming out but then again you win on the day neutral is just because the you have such a long harvest period so if you guys see me pointing on this side of the high tunnel these are where we have our june bearings this whole row on that side and half of this row is june bearings and the rest of these in here are day neutral and the reason you know i planted these two varieties so i called up our um our plug supplier and i was like hey i want to plant some high tunnel strawberries what do you recommend and he told me well the albions the monterey's are day neutral varieties they do really well in high tunnels and then you know i was just curious to see how the day new uh the dune bearing uh strawberries produced so i planted a couple rows of those so you know me knowing absolutely nothing about high tunnel strawberries you know this is my first season 
first time ever growing them. So I had a, a person reach out to me like, hey, how do you like high tunnel strawberries? How do they do? I was like, well, so far I like them, but I haven't seen the production off them because it's my first year doing it. So I guess I could tell you about in May or in, you know, in, in June how they did. So uh, yeah, this is my first year ever trying them. So like I said, I called up the guy. He sent me these plugs. So he sent me 500 Albion. He sent me um, 500 of Monterey and then the rest in uh, the June bearing varieties, Chandler's and Rocco's. So I got four different varieties planted in here. Now, uh, the thing that I'm projecting to see in here is, you know, the day neutral varieties, the instant it starts warming up here in the high tunnel and in the spring, once the soil temperature increases, I expect these to start blooming and start producing us, you know, flowers and and berries a lot earlier and, you know, a lot longer than the, the, day, the June berry. But then again, like I said, it's my first time ever doing this, so I'm not really sure what I'm expecting. But as you can see here, I'll show you guys, but there's a lot of flower buds and a lot of open blooms. You know, one thing I realized that I don't do, I don't talk straight to you guys. I like to turn around and do this, and sometimes the audio is not very good. But there's already some open blooms out there of the on the day neutral varieties. Oh, no. Yeah, on the day neutral varieties. And, um, you know, if we really wanted, since we planted them, them, them in October 1st, I believe, is when we planted these, or, you know, September, last day September, we could uh, pull a crop off of them in the fall. But then I, I, I called up our supplier, like, hey, how do you get fall strawberries it's like well you had to plant them in the middle of august so that the plant could be big enough to go ahead and support our crop so that you don't lose production in the spring because if you plant them in the fall and you have a fall crop and you don't you don't do it right you lose all your production in the spring and since i'm trying to produce all the berries in the spring i uh i told him you know that's good to know but i'm gonna go ahead and pull off all the flower buds so that all the power and energy could go to the crown so that in the spring the plants would come back and produce a nice crop so these over here, these are the Monterey, which I read a few things about them and they are 10 times more vigorous than the Albion. Reading on a lot of stuff, you know, the Albions are gonna be a lot smaller plant, you know, in general. They're not gonna be as big. They're not gonna go ahead and fill up that one foot spacing. But on the Monterey's here, they've already filled up that one foot spacing pretty pretty easily. I mean, there's very, uh, very little empty black stuff, plastic. Right here, these are the Monterey's here and they're just I mean, look how big these plants are. Just huge, 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 huge. And then over there are the June Bang varieties. Rocco's up there. Chandler's down here. More Chandler's right here. And the rest are day neutral. Like I mentioned earlier, this is our first year ever growing high tonal strawberries. So if you guys are interested to see how these progress, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you guys can follow along and you know follow along and see how you turn out and you know if it does really well i might do some more next year if not yes field strawberries it is so this is gonna be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go and hit that subscribe button go in and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget i'm coming to you guys every single day until i hit 10k i want to say thanks for watching up to this point you guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next one